Yeah, hi, I'm Leo Birnbaum. I'm a board member of E.ON SE. I spent a beautiful day today here in the Dolomites climbing together with Thomas Bubendorfer, who has thought a lot. He's a well-known climber and he has thought a lot about climbing and business and management. He's also a well-known corporate speaker. So let's chat a little bit what uh, climbing and business have in common. And Thomas, maybe one question. Where are we and why are we here? Well, we are in the Dolomites. We are close to Cortina d'Ampezzo in Italy, obviously. And uh, we are at the foot of the Cinque Torre. Rock formation, mountain because it's it's really stunning here i mean i'm from austria and we have beautiful mountains which we are proud of but the dolomites are unique i mean they are just mind-blowing yeah it's I have a privilege to, to be here yeah uh, i'm i'm half italian so i can actually obviously sympathize a little bit with italy here and i have to say the the dolomites for me are impossible to beat it's yes. just so beautiful i agree yeah i agree so leo you being an executive, usually people ask me what they can learn from climbing. What can I learn from you about climbing? I mean, from, uh, from, from the business world. Uh, it's a very subjective answer that I can give to you only now. Um, but I think the key point is, um, for me, climbing is about uh, teamwork. Mm -hmm. You can do things together which you just can't do alone. That's true. And I believe, I mean, obviously you can st do stuff free solo, but the likelihood that you can you know, really push the borders, it's just, it's just lower. Especially in mixed climbing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't do it there. Yeah. 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 And so what I think the key about climbing is you need to have absolute faith in your team, in your teammate. Yeah. You cannot accept that there is a mistake being done by him. So, if I if I look at climbing, for me it's all what you said before. It's a it's a perfect sport. It's a complete sport. It challenges you, but it's also a really 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 great team effort. And business, in the end, in business you're only successful if you can build great teams. There are no geniuses out there which can build great companies without great teams. Mm -hmm. In the end, it's all about the team. Mm -hmm. And where is the team more essential than when you two? <coughs> in a wall. That's true, but it's, uh, I would think it's much easier to find one good climbing partner that you trust, or maybe a handful. I, I don't even have 10 climbing partners that I really do great stuff with, maybe five, you know, but your teams are always so large, so where do you find all these people? Yeah, but you find five guys who each have to find five guys. You build great teams not by finding 500 guys. Okay. You build great teams by finding 20 guys. That's an interesting. Approach. And if those guys are the right ones, they will build their teams. Right, right, yeah? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. the individual is not that important. The team matters more than the individual. Uh -huh. I think the the one the one thing that I have observed is is when you get to an executive position, you tend to think too, too much of yourself. Mm -hmm. You think you are indispensable. Nobody can replace you. The world just moves on. If there's, if you, if you would get sick and you would need to stop working. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the company would need to continue. Mm -hmm. So, I think the team matters, and the team makes everybody replaceable, but at the same time the, the team gives to everybody a reason. So this is what I learned from climbing. It's absolute faith and passion. Oh, thanks a lot for this beautiful day, Thomas. Yeah, thank and you. Thanks thank for you, the discussion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You want the two red t-shirts together. <laughs> 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 Können wir machen. <laughs>